I'm Brian Richardson, and I'm the builder of the Norton Electra. And uh, Thad Wolf is our rider back here. And uh, this Wave. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go and, ahead. Uh, this is uh, a electric cafe racer based on a uh, 1966 Norton featherbed frame. And uh, the featherbed frame, of course, was uh, patented in 1949 and uh, raced successfully through the 50s and 60s. And we've got a 50 horsepower motor, so uh, that's about maybe what they had back in the 50s. And uh, we figured that this chassis is adequate. Uh, for 50 horsepower. We're having a little trouble cooling the motor, so we're trying to fashion a, a, a duct right now to the motor. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got everything hooked up to the charger right now. Uh, right. And uh, we've got about almost 12 kilowatt hours of batteries. I would think plenty of battery power, take this on the road, and, you know, drive it in a sporting fashion, uh, mm -hmm. maybe 100 miles but wide open on a racetrack like this with a lot of straightaways, probably be very lucky to go 30 miles. Yeah. And the race is 25, so I mean, hopefully we've got what we need for 25 miles. Yeah. Yeah, 12 kilowatt hours is quite a lot for oh, a motorcycle especially, yeah. It, it's a fair amount. I think if yeah. I was just building a cafe racer for myself and didn't have anything to do with this race, I uh, probably would have opted for a little less battery power, slightly lighter bike. This bike weighs exactly 420 pounds. has about a 10 pound weight bias to the front, which is what we wanted. And uh, it's about the weight of a 66 Atlas. So it's a, pretty much the same thing. I mean, we were trying to make a statement. We wanted the center of gravity low, but also just trying to make a statement. There's no gas tank, and there is, of course, no gas. Yeah, so that's why the flat top. Flat top, and, and once we finish charging, we just button it down. Yeah, and then the frame itself is unmodified. Uh, it, it's unmodified except for uh, rails that were welded in to uh, hold the battery box in place. Okay. But, and, and, and a motor mount and, and, and the battery box mount. But otherwise, the frame is a stock Norton featherbed. Yeah. Okay. And so, how do you feel about uh, the race? Well, it's, it's very exciting. It's uh, wonderful that uh, somebody like myself gets an opportunity to come and, 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 and race at this level with the super bike racers here. And uh, I think it is uh, maybe the way racing used to be in the 50s and 60s. And mm -hmm. Since this is brand new, you've got people like like myself coming from a sheep farm and uh, no electrical background. And anybody can do this if, if they have enough interest. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's, a, that's a, one of the interesting parts of this field is is like it's so much at an early stage, right? It is, and everybody wants to compare these bikes to gasoline-powered bikes, but I can't hardly imagine uh, how they'd make that comparison. I mean, they don't compare gasoline-powered bikes to gasoline-powered bikes. They, yeah, they've got different, uh, different classes in the races for a reason. For, for a reason. Yeah. Uh, they don't they don't race the Harleys against the. Uh, the Yamahas and uh -huh. they, they have the 600s and the, and the 250s and what have you. So uh, sort of sort of silly in a way, but yeah. I would like to uh, I'd like to have a match race with a 60s Norton. Mm -hmm. I think I'd do okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, one person told me that uh, you know anybody that likes motorcycles knows that not one motorcycle does everything well. You have a dirt bike, you've got a uh, touring bike, you've got a sport bike. Um, People that are into bikes, they don't own just one bike. And if they do, they wish they had another one. Because they don't all do everything well. And uh, someone told me, this is a sailboat for motorcycles. Um, <laughs> you, you, you might like a speedboat or a, a ski boat or a, a bass boat or a john boat for fishing. But you still might understand why somebody would want a sailboat. And uh, no noise. Uh, you just get on it, twist the grip and uh, be a wonderful way to commute to work. You, on a motorcycle, you, you, you feel the, the heat and the cool and the rain and you smell the smells. You've got great visibility, but you can't hear anything. On this mm -hmm. bike, you mm -hmm. can literally hear the birds and the trees as you go down the road. Right. And on, I do commute with an electric motorcycles 
quite a bit, and and it also feels like a to me it feels like a magic writing carpet. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like a cell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, do you have anything else you'd like to say, or? No, um, I, I, I guess I just need to get busy getting it cooled and getting yeah. this cooling dock in so we can go back yeah. out for practice. Right. Yep. Well, you've done a really good job with this bike, and I congratulate you and wish you the best. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>